Welcome back to another episode of Carson's Aquatics. Today, we are gonna be setting up a desktop aquarium right back there on my desk. This right here is my desk. This is where I sit for hours at a time editing my videos. And I'll give you a quick little desk tour right there. We got a little charging station. Then we got a cup full of pens and pencils, my water cup, my lamp, the CA Book of Secrets, and then my two extra camera batteries. And we got my laptop, my mouse, my mouse pad, a Christmas cookie candle, and then a little like salt rock lamp that glows up. And this is also real salt, like watch salty. So if you've been watching my videos for a while, you'll remember that I actually tried setting up a little planted aquarium bowl thing. I'll have a little picture of what it looked like. And that thing was pretty cool, but the problem was it didn't have a filter or like an aerator and the water just got really nasty really quick. So I ended up just scrapping the whole thing. But I want to have an aquarium right here on my desk. I only have one right there in my room and I want another one. I want a smaller one. So I went over to Amazon and I ordered this right here, which we're going to unbox right now. I ordered this a while ago. It took like two or three weeks to come in. So I don't really remember how much it was I think it was between 40 and 50 bucks and of course I will have the exact link in the description of this tank that I got in case you guys want to get it for yourself here we go and here it is so you can see right there USB desktop aquarium this thing literally plugs into the wall by USB like the same thing your phone does so that's pretty crazy and this thing does look a lot smaller than I thought it was I never planned on putting fish in here and I'm obviously not gonna put fish in here the picture on the box is low-key messed up two goldfish in a this is probably Probably like a quarter gallon to a half gallon tank we'll, we'll hop right into it and see how big the actual tank is but it's no more than half a gallon I can already tell you that so we're not gonna put fish in here I thought about putting like a snail or a shrimp in here but I don't believe this tank has like an actual filter like I think it just has a pump that recirculates it so I don't really know how I'd go about cleaning that with an actual living animal in it but we are gonna put some live plants in here I'm thinking we'll get like a moss ball and then probably a plant that comes out the top but yeah that's probably I don't even know if that's a half gallon that's probably a quarter gallon maybe a half gallon but it is a cool little tank it has a built-in clock right here that we'll see in a second and then up here is like a little pencil holder like I already have over there so I can get rid of that so yeah it's like a clock and a pencil holder and an aquarium there's the little light and we got a little cord right here the power cord and then we got something else right here it actually came with gravel you can see that Oh, it's open. Uh, we aren't gonna use this. We're gonna use something more natural looking. And I'm just gonna go ahead and rip this plant out of here. There we go. So we're gonna go ahead and get all this stuff out of the way. This is where our tank is gonna be going. And it should fit like perfectly right here. Oh yeah, that's like the perfect size for my desk. And by the looks of it, we are gonna need some batteries. I think that's gonna be to power the clock. And then the power cord is to power the water pump. So I'm gonna go grab some batteries for the clock and I'm gonna plug in the pump. And then there are also a couple switches on the back of it to turn them on. But yeah, I'm gonna give this thing some power. If few moments later. Alrighty guys, so I just went ahead and threw in some batteries and I also plugged in the pump, but I haven't turned it on yet because I don't want it to run dry. And you can see right there, we got the time, the date, the day of the week, and the temperature. So that's pretty cool. We got a lot of information right there and then some buttons. And I believe this one is what you like can set your alarm with. So this is an alarm clock. And then I think these would just be to adjust the time, which I'll do later. And then sound. I'm not sure that. Oh. All right, so I guess it wakes you up to the sound of farm animals and running water. That, that's interesting. All right, I'm just gonna go and turn it off. I don't really know what to say to that. All right, well, anyway, we're just gonna get started setting this tank up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take this tank over to the sink and rinse out the aquarium part of it. Even though we aren't putting any fish in here, I still want it to be clean. Like, I don't want any dust in there because then when we put in the water, it could like get it all murky. So I'm just gonna go rinse down the aquarium part of this thing and then we'll start adding the decorations. Alrighty guys, so the tank has been rinsed and I just ran down to the fish room and got some gravel out of my beta tank. This is the substrate we're gonna be using for this tank. So we're gonna start dumping this in. And we are gonna be planting live plants in here. So we want there to be plenty of substrate for those. Now I'm gonna go ahead and fill this thing up with water. Alrighty guys, our little desktop aquarium is full of water and I also went ahead and set the time and date. And now that it's full of water, we can go ahead and turn on the pump. Oh, it also has a couple lights under the gravel. That's pretty cool. But you can see there our tank is flowing and that's honestly a good amount of flow for this little tank. The pump itself is pretty quiet. You can hear a little humming noise if you get real close, but it's not bad. The water flow is being pretty loud, but I think that's just cause it's not like filled all the way to the top. So whenever we get done putting all the plants and decorations in, then I'll fill it up a little bit more and we'll see if that gets quieter. Oh yeah, and we can turn on this little above light. Yeah, oh, that's pretty cool. So yeah, our little desktop aquarium is almost done. All we really need to do is get some plants for this thing, which I already did, but I'll roll that clip right now.
Alrighty guys, just got done inside of PetSmart and I ended up getting a gold ribbon plant. This is semi-aquatic, so the base of the plant will be in the water planted and then the leaves will grow out of the tank, out of the water. And that's exactly what I wanted. And also I didn't just get one moss ball, I actually got three mini ones. I didn't even know they came in like a small size, but I'm really glad they do because the big ones looked huge and they looked like they would take up a lot of space in the tank. So we're gonna throw one of these mini moss balls in there and I'll probably throw one in the beta tank and then maybe one in the baby frog tank. But with that being said, let's get all this stuff home and get it all set up in the desktop aquarium. So yeah, as you saw there, we got this semi-aquatic gold ribbon and then three miniature moss balls. We are only going to put one of those moss balls in this tank. And then this gold ribbon should be about the perfect size to start growing out of the tank. And that should look really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse this stuff down. Then we can start putting them in our tank. Alrighty guys, so I just rinsed down the gold ribbon and it looks like it's actually two pieces. Like there's two different stems. So I'm going to plant these in different spots. And since this light kind of comes up diagonal like this, I'm going to put one in this back left corner and one in the front right. And this one will also kind of cover up this faucet so i'm gonna put this one in back here and then i'm gonna put this one right up here and there we go the gold ribbons are in and now we just got our little moss ball and there he goes. Yeah, that's like the perfect size for this tank. And now that everything is in, I'm gonna go ahead and put in some more water to see if we can get that water flow noise down a little bit. A few moments later. All right, well, putting more water in there actually did not make it any quieter, but I did go ahead and move that leaf. So now it's right under that little faucet and it is completely silent now. And the pump itself is way quieter now. Maybe it just needed some time to warm up or something, but this whole thing is like completely silent now. So that's a good thing. It won't keep me up at night, but I am very happy with how this turned out. This is definitely an awesome addition to the desk. It's gonna be something cool to look at. And let's just get one more listen to the farm animals. <laughs> it's so weird, it's so random. Like why farm animals? So yeah, this desktop aquarium is officially done. We do still have these two moss balls left over. So we're gonna run down to the fish room and put these in a couple of my tanks. All right, guys, so first I'm going to put one of these moss balls into my 10 gallon baby frog tank. So let's just drop that right on in there. And these three moss balls are my first ever moss balls. My buddy Miles has a couple and I know a lot of people keep these. That is a real plant right there. That is real moss. I think they look pretty cool and they will be a bit of extra help filtering the water. And then the third and final one we are gonna put in my 10 gallon tall beta tank. And there it goes. Oh, is it gonna fall on him? Oh, almost. So yeah, there it is. We are now back up in my room at the desktop tank. And a couple things I forgot to do. First of all, I'm gonna move all these pens and pencils over into the little pencil holder up there. Might as well use it. Oh, I just dropped a couple. But yeah, there we go. And then one last thing, I do want to name the moss ball in this little tank. I just think it would be fun for him to have a name. So I'm thinking mossy for the name. But if you guys have any better name ideas for this little moss ball, then just comment them down below. And with that being said, that is going to wrap up this video. And today's comment of the day goes out to Soul Waves. Nice Carson, keep up the grind. Thank you, Soul Waves. I certainly will. And thank you for being a member. And if you want your comment to be the comment of the day in the next video, all you got to do is drop a comment down below and that could happen. And if you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and I am going to see you in the next video.